Oh, hello there. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and push start so you don't have to be exposed to that eye-searing fire screen again. Wow, hi, everybody. It's a big copter. Dominic, Manic, Worst Elephant. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. Happy first day of school if you happen to live in the South Bay of Los Angeles. Um, <clears throat> both my kids had a lovely day at school today. They were, they were very, very excited about that. Had a really good time. Um, apparently everybody was very, very safe and cautious today. They said none, none of the other kids like ever, ever took off their masks like the whole day, even when they were outside. Like they, I, I don't think the school actually requires the kids to take off their masks when they're outside, like outside, like on the playground stuff. But my kids said like none of them did. So that was very encouraging. So, and yeah, they had a, they had a really nice time. <clears throat> Never seen Willow, have you? Worth a watch, overrated. Willow overrated? Like who even, who outside of us right here, right now, ever talks about the film Willow? Like I feel like it has been utterly lost to time. <clears throat> it's not exactly like a fan favorite or a cult classic or anything. It just kind of exists out there in the either. I hadn't thought about Willow uh, prior to seeing this pop up in Nintendo Power and being like, hey, this could be pretty cool. Everyone I've ever known who has ever talked about Willow only gushes about it. Okay, well, I can't, I can't identify with that. I can't speak for them. It's definitely a, a film movie. Hello, Harmby. Like to pass a word. Hello. I will accept your hello. It's, yeah, it's good. It's whoever, whoever it was last time that said it's Lord of the Rings with a baby instead of a ring is like spot on the more I think about it. Like it's, it's so extremely powerfully not Lord of the Rings. It's trying so very, very hard to not be Lord of the Rings because it's like, look, here's a baby. And okay, we got a baby, now what? <laughs> <clears throat> I've seen it once because that was enough, watched as a kid, so I just don't remember. <clears throat> yeah, it, I remember being entertaining. I same. I haven't, I haven't seen it in years and years and years. But I remember enjoying. It. I remember it being one of those, one of those kid, one of those movies that you watch as a kid, and it's got like it's 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 funny and it's got some swashbuckling in it and some neat special effects. But it's got a couple moments in it that are like unusually creepy. Um, and I'm, I feel like. There's a fight with a giant monster somewhere near the end, and I, I seem to recall, like, somebody gets eaten by it, or, like, it, it gets caught on fire or something, and, like, those parts kind of freaking me out a bit. So. Yeah, and, oh, God, yeah, the scene where everybody gets turned into pigs, that's right. Yeah, there's, um, people get morphed into animals a whole lot in this series, so. Happy first week of college. Our administration is requiring masks. None of the students are wearing them. Administration isn't offering COVID sick leave anymore. It's okay. Totally for real. Appreciate all our hard work. Yeah, let's 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 not think about that. Let's let's be transported to a magical world that's being assaulted by an evil queen, and their only hope is a totally not halfling. <clears throat> they don't slaughter any parents. It's still less awful than any old Disney movie. <laughs> that was kind of their thing for a hot minute, wasn't it? So yeah, um, the plan for tonight, we're gonna play Willow. Uh, I don't know what I'm really committing to with this. Um, if, if it's really good and interesting, we'll play through the whole thing, which I assume would take more than one evening. Um, if one evening is enough for this, great. If we play this for like an hour and discover it's actually really boring, we'll play something else on the NES. I'm, I'm totally willing to play this one by ear. Um, because I don't know much about it, and I'm also dog tired tonight, so I'm just I'm fine sitting here pushing buttons on my gamepad, and that's about it. <clears throat> Can the guy I know turn out to be okay in this magical world? Hopefully. Will the game is okay? Have it has a vaguely crystallis vibe. Well, let us let us begin. And I guess they're really hoping you either read the instruction manual or, or watch the the opening crawl, because here we are dumped directly into the game. Um, we definitely have a subscreen. Okay, so I remember from last time we need to wander around and talk to everybody and they will give us stuff. Jesus Christ, it's, it's a pretty intense looking game too. The 
grin. Oh, my dear Willow, if you get tired during your trip, come back here. You will be able to regain your strength. Before you begin your trip, you should talk to your neighbor. Be hi, Aldwin. Be careful. Okay. Yep, these are, these are about some powerful colors. <clears throat> Don't talk to a druggie. Ah, Willow, Nelwyn's man of prophecy. Take these magic acorns with you. They can turn anything to stone, so it can't move. You have the magic acorns. I got the special nuts. If you come back here during your trip, I will recharge your magic powers. Neat, cool, good, great, awesome. Uh, we will equip the magic nuts. <laughs> Congrats, you got your special nuts from a drug dealer. All right, <coughs> this, this is the bottom of the village over here, at least. So let's go this way. I think I'm probably gonna have to like absolutely comb the countryside to make sure I don't miss anything in this game. Because I know there's a lot of shit in this game. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, if I remember the movie correctly, these these magical acorns, like, petrify literally anything they touch. Like, didn't didn't you have to keep them in a special oiled pouch or something? Like, if you, if you touch them with your bare hands, like, you'll turn to stone or something? Get to the village of Dew, you must go through the rugged forest, just north of Nelwyn. Okay. I, I glimpsed at a map of this uh, the other night, and it was extremely intimidating. Just by area, this game is significantly larger than, like, Zelda 1. It must be Willow. Weapons and magic items must be in hand in order to use them, so be careful. Okay. Tiny lady. Thank you. Good to know. Hi, large mans. Who is now small mans in the portrait. Did you meet Valknar, the best swordsman in the village? He should be preparing the finest weapons for you. Good shit. Valknar? I've heard rumors that a demon is in the village of Dew, just north of here, and has been terrifying the villagers. Okay, cool. Literally never heard of this game until today. Have you heard of the movie? Were you, were you aware of, of Willow as a motion picture? Because I'm genuinely curious how many people actually know of Willow in this day and age. Like, where would I... I don't even know where I would go to watch it. I don't know what service it would be on. A lot of people don't know a game was ever made out of this. This one was not really pushed very hard. Been so damn long since you saw the movie. Yeah, same here, Naren. I do remember being entertaining. Willow, to stop Bavmorda's magic, you must dispel the curse she put on Finn Raziel, who was turned into a possum. Then again, I was born in 95. Oh my god. Excuse me while I crumble to dust and blow in the wind. It looks like nobody is around. Willow's actually a dizzy. Wait, is it. Wait. So I did notice on the splash screen that this is this is a joint Capcom Lucasfilm joint. So I get <laughs> you're excused. Um, did did this actually get purchased up with the rest of Lucasfilm? Prime or Disney Plus with subs or rent for four dollars from a variety of services. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shit, I might watch this again. Looks like nobody is around. <clears throat> Work was really tedious today, and I was seriously thinking about watching something, but like, of my available options, I was just kind of like, uh, I don't care. <clears throat> this is the third most known franchise behind Star Wars and Howard the Duck. I feel like, well, I don't know. I guess now, now that Howard the Duck has had actual cameos in MCU movies, I guess this would be lesser known than Howard the Duck. That's kind of sad. 
Welcome, Willow. My name is Vachnar. Please take this long sword. You have the long sword. God damn right I do. We read the sequel. There's a sequel novel to E.T.? Why? It may be heavy and hard to use at first, but you should get used to it after a few fights. Okay, bye. You were made to watch Willow in school. I, I take by your phrasing of that you did not enjoy it. Lesser known than Howard the Duck, now that's depressing. Yeah, I know, right? How the mighty have fallen. Sequel novel too, though I never read it. No idea if my library even still has it. TV series in the works. TV series of this? You should be able to get to the village of Dew if you keep going north on this road, yes. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of worse things to watch than Willow. Definitely. TV series of Willow, wow. All right, sorting time. So, I mentioned this last time, I can swoop and I can stabbo. And both are quite effective. I remember one time a biology teacher made us watch Gattaca as in the entire film. What the hell? You watch Willow in school so your teacher could look at Val Kilmer for a couple of hours? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can think of some of some school teachers that would have done that in my past, yes. That makes sense. That tracks. It's not just a sequel novel, but a sequel trilogy. So was was Willow was Real, Willow originally a novel or did it start as a film and then like spiral into other things? So bugsy that Willow is blonde in this game. I mean wasn't wasn't his hair kind of a very, like, sandy blonde in the movie? It's been so long, I really can't remember. The modern version of Romeo and Juliet is part of a section of learning Romeo and Juliet. You know, the one with John Leguizamo. Film first, okay. I've leveled up! Fuck you, skulls. Alright. Skulls been fucked. William Kotzwinkel wrote one of my all-time favorite books, The Fan Man, but it's a real odd choice to write an E.T. novel. Fan Man sounds like an absolutely C-tier Batman villain. I don't like how the enemy defeat sound, like, crowds out the music. Second sword is a massive upgrade, did it for the second shield. The bitrate is not liking that sand. It's actually it's actually grass wafting in the breeze gently as 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 you do battle with slimy things. <clears throat> we watched the 60s Romeo and Juliet that had nudity in class. Nice. Hello, old man. So you have come from Nelwyn. Please rest as long as you need to. Okay. Cool. Thanks for giving me all my numbers back. Not Mega Man? Apparently Warwick Davis is coming back to reprise Willow for the TV show. Really? Huh. My mind just created Shin Mega Man Tensei. <laughs> what the fuck, brain? Why you do this? Got to watch that one too. Watching both made shit kind of confusing. I can imagine. I have heard that Bogarda is the father of the chief of this village, and he was changed into a demon by the wicked magic of Bav Morda. Hey! It looks like you could use this shield. I definitely could, thank you. I don't think last time we actually figured out if the, like what value the shield has. Did you hear the story from the village chief? Okay, cool. Um, please to equip shield. Good job. Some shots it looks light enough to maybe be blonde and some shots it also looks reddish. Yeah, one of, one of those confusing in-the-middle things. 
Hello, tall lady. If you go west from here, you will see a road that goes through the Rock Mountain. As you go further, you will find the entrance to the cave. Sometimes you can hear a weird voice from inside. That sounds exciting. I, I would like to experience the weird voice of the cave. I mean, I honestly feel like, like more often than not, like, representing the color of something real in a Nintendo game, they, like, more often than not, they get it wrong. Just, just because of the palette limitations. So I'm not, I'm not surprised at all that this, like, NES Willow does not particularly resemble actual Willow. Remember one time we watched parts of 2006 Marie Antoinette movie, too? Forget why. I'm pretty sure I've already been in here. Oh yeah, it's Old Man again. I have come once again from Nelwyn. I went all the way back to Nelwyn and then back here, so yes, let me rest again. Thank you, Old Man. Alright, we will check this row of villages. There's really no reason for this village to be this big. Old Man has short memory span. The demon Bogarda takes all of the fruit grown in our village, and our gold and silver, too. What a dick. Totally Bogarda-ing all their stuff. I'm sorry, I really tried on that one. How long to beat says you should be able to beat this in about five hours and 30 minutes. Okay, we'll see if it, act if it actually holds our attention that long. I think that Bogarda lives in the forest north of this village. Okay. Wicked the Ewok, the main one dealt with by the rebels in Return of the Jedi, was Warwick Davis's first role and he was 12. Wow. That's something. Please bring peace back to this village of Do. With extras that goes to eight hours, 40 minutes. Pretty big game. Pretty sizable, yeah. I wonder what kind of extras it has. He's like 17 or 18 for Willow. The story of Bogarda is true. My father was a courageous and just person before being put under such wicked magic. The villagers have been put through such misery. I will give you this magic. Heal Mace. This is a valued treasure of this village and is a symbol of a spirit protecting us. When you're tired from fighting, just clutch the heel mace tightly and say the magic word and you will regain your strength. What's up, Cold Steel? So apparently I just got a huge mace that you can smash your face in for healing. <coughs> All right, let's see if we can find this Bogarda dude. <laughs> ah! Damn you skulls! Remember this. Ow! Okay. The stream does not like that. I remember talking to you, Mr. Skelly Vans. You want to see Bogarda? If that's the case, find and bring back the gold statue that the villagers hid in this forest. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Alright, then, there, then there's these horrifying fucking things. Okay, we're done. We're good. Alright. Okay, acorn definitely helpful. Acorn definitely helpful there. 
Alright, well, I guess there's nothing over here. I thought for sure that was going to be a fight. Oh, Jesus, hi. And also bye. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes things happen. That's, that's the story of Willow, I guess. Stab, 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 stab! I think in a minute we're gonna need to figure out how this heal mace works. the strangest urge today, and no, this story is not going unseemly places. Um, I, holy fuck. Oh god! Oh god, the acorns, they do nothing! Alright, that's probably where we want to go. I think that's probably where we want to go. Swole Snake Man jump scare? Seriously, Shadows, that scared the fuck out of me. I noticed I was I was searching for something on Steam and I noticed I had gotten that little thing just killed me. Oh god, that's obnoxious. Game over! That guy seems like a good case for not going there. Continue. Did they just kick me back to do? They did. Huh, okay. I think it resets your experience. I mean, we'll, we'll surely test this, but... Maybe it was the last place you rested? That would also track. Stab, 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 stab! Alright, don't kill me this time. Calling it. Anyway, I was searching for something and I noticed I had a pack of... I got a pack of Pinball FX3 tables that I don't remember buying. So I think they might have, like, credited me some because I bought a bunch of Pinball FX2 tables a long time ago. Um, and it, it gave me the very sudden urge to start playing Pinball again. So I installed it, but I haven't... Obviously, I haven't played it yet. Okay. Snackman. Snackman. Okay. Snackman doesn't actually seem too bad. This this seems doable-ish. Oh, Mr. Snackman to sit down before he gets hurt. Hey, we did it. I don't know why, but we did it. <laughs> Is this, is this like a part of the forest I hadn't been to yet? Is this even part of the forest? Oh, there's another snack man. Okay. Man, I thought I beat like a mini boss or something. But no, there's just, there's just snack men's everywhere. Jump scare snack is gone or not. I feel like when you wish you were as jacked as a snake. Fortunately, they have a pretty simple pattern. Ow. He says he gets hit like a chum. Boom, all right, done-zo. Pigs, you're all pigs, I'm not a roguelike. Hey, a treasure chest. You have the, oh shit, yeah. 
gold statue get? It is a golden image of a human face. You have the light of life. What does that mean? Uh, I guess that restored my health. Neat. Cool. Great. When you get to the cave, I can guide you if you want. Uh, that would probably be really nice. The light of life. I think I think that means here's your life back or something. It's actually a good game. I always saw it around and never knew anyone who actually played it. Well, now you do. Now you do. It seems okay so far. I think it was Manic earlier compared it to Crystallis. That, that, I think that tracks. Not awful so far. Not gonna set the world on fire. Well, I mean, it, it depends on how into a uh, swole snack you are. I wanna get the next level, so in case I die, all this XP's won't be wasted. Yeah, it's not worth that much experience either. Moving background is crazy. It really is. It really is. Graphically, graphically, there's a lot going on in this for an, uh, for an NES game. I mean, sure. My acorn technique is unstoppable. Kind of making you nauseous, probably get hat on a few. Really? Okay. Snake and boar are worth the same XP? Alright, well snake is way easier. Is it is it the moving background that makes you nauseous? Oh shit, I'm sorry, dude. Wish the colors were a little less aggressive. They are pretty eye-searing, aren't they? Hopefully it won't be too long before we can get out of, like, the grasslands area. I know there's... and the screen transitions. Fair. Skelly mans. Two skulls or two big slimes of snake war. Gotcha. Bogarda is in this cave. As soon as you hand over the gold statue, you must return here. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Alright. Kev. Been having brutal sinus issues today. Wait, I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. Very sorry to hear that. Oh, Jesus. These are some fucked up bats. Yay, I leveled up. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, so first south. Took a sick day today for the first time since we started this job. South again, okay. Then west, oh Jesus, it's the bees! God Christ, those are big bees. Okay. Ah! Do quite a bit of damage. Ah! Ah! Zambi! South and east is. Oh god! He turned me into a pig! He turned my ass into a pig! Fuck you, man! 30 XP though, snake and a half. Go south and east as much as you can until the door. Okay. Fuck that guy, seriously. I'll fuck with the bats, thanks. Basically, start feeling like you had a really bad hangover at the end of your work day yesterday, still had in the morning, no COVID symptoms, I'm double vaxxed, so I'm not panicking. You have the ring! Yay! 
When you wear it, your strength increases. Cool. Uh... Okay. What are the exact specifics of the nominate and unreleased game again? Um... Any, anything that is not yet playable. Anything that has not come out yet. That way, that way I have some time to plan and prepare. Uh, if, if I actually want to do it. Price range, anything. Not picky about price range. Go back the way you came for a while? Okay. Well, it's actually pretty likely I'm going to die here. Oh, I should, I should heal mace. Wheel is tomorrow, yes, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, if anybody has been holding out to put up a game for tomorrow's uh, wheel night, tonight's the night to do it, because they are closing at the end of this stream, so I can re review everything and make sure it's all uh, on the up and up. Wow, okay, heal mace is a full heal. That is nice. Anyone have the filter link ha handy? It's, um, it's pinned in the feedback channel, if you don't mind popping back to Discord for a minute. Yeah, that's a real nice heal mace. That is super good. Okay, this is not the way I went before. I seem to have already gotten my ass lost. Of course, that's not guaranteed, because... Okay, it's guaranteed, yeah. Ah! Bees, you can't... You can't just spawn in on me like that, you fucks. Come here. Come here. I want to level up off of you. Hang on. No. Yeah. Sweet, sweet bee experience. They're gonna be dicks about this. All right, fine, 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 be that way. Yeah, oh, okay, I remember this room. This was the B room. I know this isn't the way I came from, but. Oh, I'm supposed to be going this way. Cool. North of, north of the junction. Okay. Stab does more damage, huh? Hadn't really occurred to me, but stab does more damage. Ooh, treasure. You have the battle sword. It is a solid and fairly heavy sword. You have the light of life. Anyone heard of Lords of the Fallen? Uh, yeah. I think some folks around here played that one. Okay, and then back south. Okay. Sword. Oh, okay. It has a, it has a much longer swing. Souls like? It's okay. Pretty fun. A lot like a slower Dark Souls. I have to stop playing it. You pretty much need the attack power, though. Ah! I mean, I'm sure it's better. I'm like, there's no doubt in my mind that it's better. I was just making the observation that it is slower to swing. I found a cave. Don't remember Willow doing like any fighting in the movie. Yeah, he didn't. Uh oh. You look like you bogart shit. So it is you, the youngster with the gold statue. What? You won't give me the statue? Ha 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 ha. Do you intend to oppose me? You pitiful creature. Okay, bye. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Look at our life bars. Ugh. Ow. Fucking dick. Hey, fuck you. I'm just gonna. I wanna. I'm just gonna damage rush you. Fuck you. 
Hooray! Oh, where am I? Oh yes, I remember now. Please fight for peace. I will teach you the magic of flowing fire. It should be of help to you. You have the magic of flowing fire. Vesty Mad Mardigan. Yay. I have large numbers now. Aside from the camera, I think you can enjoy it. Seriously, it makes you ill. If you want to know more about Queen Bavmorda, go and talk to Sherlindria, the fairy who lives west of the village of Dew in Legendary Lake Chief. Chief. No, I'm the axe. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get the hell out of here now. I had not noticed that on the on the screen trans. Oh, it's not on the screen transitions. This is the background music. Oh wow, leveling up makes you a lot stronger. That is significant. Oh my god, that hurts. Why do the giant bees hurt? Wish I made a whooshing sound when I went through the doors of any room in my house. I know, right? I know, right? Uh... Doesn't feel right. I don't think this is right. Yeah. That's not right. Actually, this is right either. I don't remember the one B room. This is good, okay. Hey, leave now. Leave now! Hooray! All right, let's go back to the village and rest. Obviously not that way, you idiot. You moron. All right. No, I want... Fuck off. There we go. Feel powerful. Feel strong. Oh, look at that. Boom! Fuck it up. Fuck them. Fuck them skulls. Can you imagine a world where, like, levitating skulls would occasionally just rise up out of the ground and chase you? I'd be pretty fucked. If we're being real here for a moment. That's not the way I want to go. Stop, I'm gonna get so excited. You mean Alabama? <laughs> Clearly, there are, there are places in, in these here United States that I don't know that much about. Maybe know we want directions again? Well, I know we're gonna head west out of here. By the way, have you heard about the dragon scales? It's said that they're proof of the fight between an adventurer and a vicious dragon called Matanda. I used to be a blacksmith in this village. Just once, I would like to make a magnificent sword with those scales. If you find them, please bring them to me. All right, he just spelled that shit out. If we ever find dragon scales, come back to do. Give them, give them to the guy that lets me sleep in on his floor. And we should get a pretty sweet sword out of it. Should, maybe. Uncertain. God's big ass village spoken to you before, right? If you go west from here, you will see... Yes, this is where we want to go. I think.
Hello, Fury Fighter! How's it going tonight? How are you doing? Link something on Discord that might help. Seems to let you change the field of vision, at least. Yeah. FOV tends to have a, a big impact on whether or not things make me feel sick. Go directly west to get a shield. Uh, I'm guessing the low road there is what you mean? Cave was fine. This is bad again. Should watch Castle of the Sky or Nausicaa for the first time instead. Yes, you should, Bacon Copter. It's arguably a better use of your time, but thanks for dropping by anyway. I work with a toothache, so 6 out of 10. Oh no, it's the rocks from Zelda. They've come for revenge. Which should you watch first? Nausicaa? Oh my Jesus Christ. Nausicaa is older? Yeah, maybe that one. I think I prefer Castle in the Sky. I think you might like Nausicaa better. But, I mean, Christ, watch them both. They are both super classics. See you later, buddy. You have the small shield! No more of this flimsy wood shield shit. The strong shield made of metal. Alright. Shield. Also green. And it looks exactly the same. I guess our character sprite isn't really gonna isn't really gonna change like ever, huh? <clears throat> Suck it, bats! I sound like Batman villain now. God, I thought these things were gonna jump out and start humping. Oh God! I turned it to stone and then hurt myself by walking into it. Ow. That's a lot of skulls. I guess this is where I was earlier. It's just a loop. Okay. I found a plateau shaped like a donut. So we're obviously not going that way. Skellymans! Oh no! Oh no, they actually know how to sword fight. They may know how to sword fight, but I know I know how to mash like an idiot. And I know which one is the more valuable skill. Hardest part is not poking tooth with tongue. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean, dude. Tooth stuff drives me insane now. I am like I am like forever paranoid of having to get any kind of dental work done now. Okay, so heal mace is not a full heal, but it's up there. I do want to try the fire thing, but maybe after you find another village. Okay, so blue is obviously a higher grade of enemy. Also, I, I'm really starting to feel like they just copy-pasted sections of the world. Ten more weeks till off to see Signal of Another for nine days. Oh, man. 
That waiting must be killer. I can already tell this is going to be annoying. Oh my god! Giant, horrible bug things. Be less bad without stabby pain, yeah. Not how it works, it's supposed to be the red enemies are tougher. I, I don't... Every sword has a level attached to it, okay. If you're not that level, you swing slower. Oh! Interesting, because... I'm definitely swinging faster now. Hmm. Did I just... Oh, I found a bridge! Hi, what's up? I am Chill of the Nail Clan. Our village is in the forest near Lake Chief. When we went to the village of Dew, looking for food, Bo Gargada put a strange spell on the bridge so we could not get out. But thanks to you, it looks like we can finally return to our village. Thank you. Neat. So if I had come this way first before doing the whole Bo Bogarda thing, there'd be like some arbitrary barrier on it or something, huh? Yeez. Wow, even, even the bridge dances when they're enemies. Fuck you. <laughs> Dancing logs. All right, we appear to be in the piss forest now. Hello, tiny thing! Ah! We are Frangine and Rule of the Brownies Clan. You sound delicious. Frangine, who are you? Who are you? You come to see the fairy Sherlindria? Ha ha ha. Sherlindria is the fairy of beautiful Lake Chief. She is. If you do what we say, we can tell you how to get to Lake Chief. We can. If you go north from here, through Death Forest, there's a cave where a dragon called Matanda lives. Defeat Matanda and bring the crystal ball of life back to us. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. All right, you little dicks. Dancing Bridge is honestly terrifying, it really is. I get nervous enough crossing normal bridges. Alright, so we have to slay a whole ass dragon now. Holy shit! Fuck those trees. Also fuck those trees. I don't, uh, I don't need the only thing holding me from a splashy doom to all of a sudden start shuffling every day. <laughs> Visit Metallica in Mega Death Forest. Oh, good, it's another village. Hello, lady. What is this? Storming into someone's home unannounced? Wait, you're just in time. My darling pet has run off somewhere. Won't you please find him? His name is Poe. He is really cute. You'll like him, for sure. Hold on, take these medicinal herbs in case he is hurt. Whole lot of content packed into that bit of dialogue. Don't fuck trees, splinters are bad. Should've fucked him up with fire, just to be sure. Oh no, fuck those trees. Okay, so I guess that wasn't a village. I guess that was just old lady out in fuck you forest. Since you're getting an Akuma layered armor with the Hadouken and spinning kick emotes. Oh, for uh, Monster Hunter Rise? Nice. That sounds like fun. Seriously, fuck these trees. Seriously. Seriously.
Guess where you get to go eventually. Fortunately, it seems like they're shooting at where you were right when they fire. So it seems like if you keep moving, they can't get you. Tip medicinal herbs. This forest is huge. It just keeps going. Oh, it's up there. These trees. Oh, that didn't hurt so much. That wasn't too bad. Ah! <laughs> Well, I guess it's a good thing I checked here anyway. Come back here with a goddamn chainsaw. Show you. Show all. Oh, good. Well, I guess this means we're in the right place. And yeah, the fireballs only do one damage, so. It's it's kind of less forest of death and more forest of, like, minor discomfort. And now we're at a mountain. Really, whole mountain. Of course, trees don't hurt that much, sticks and stones, you know. Check out the cave. Could this might maybe be the Dargan cave? Five things in here to do slash grab. That's quite quite a great many number of things. All right, we have green bats now. South, then west. Okay, I'm guessing I need to go back then. The first junction, okay. Okay, which was here. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. South, then west. You have obtained the gold shield. Which realistically wouldn't be very useful. The name of a swordsman is written on the inside, but it is too old to read. And light of life. Mine now. Ah, uh, so you can see how it changes. Okay, so I guess the shield just changes your defense rating. They've gone from 10 to 19 to 29, which seems pretty good. A little peeve that our character sprite doesn't change. I want to keep heading east, okay. That is definitely a thing I can do. Let's give him butts. Ah! Blue bees! Ah! Jesus Christ, how much experience do I need for level 6? Oh no, oh no, 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 I hate those guys. Um, hang on, maybe I can set them on fire. 
Let's see if fire is an option here. I guess it seems to be. Okay, this guy super sucks. Bye-bye, asshole. Alright, treasure. You have the flame sword. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that from the movie. What a sword! The whole sword is red with flames. Okay, realistically, how do you improve on this? I mean, there's space for nine more swords, but I feel like we've already peaked. Like, come on. I guess I'm not high enough level for it. Budget eggplant wizard. Dragon scale. Huh. I didn't even have to pull it off the dragon. It is a beautiful green scale. Nice. This is sort of instant jibbing. Would that I could be so lucky. Can you open treasure chest again? There is nothing in the treasure chest. Aww. I wasn't replaced by a Mimic or anything. Go north and keep going east. Uh... Okay, this, this, this seems like it could be a problem. Yeesh, okay. Enemies in this game like to jump scare you. <laughs> they just pop out of nowhere. Worst kind of treasure chest, the kind filled with disappointment. There's a treasure shaped hole in my heart that that chest will not fill. Snack! Snack man, how I have missed you! Okay. Not by much, though. Are you a... Okay. Oh! Thank you! Yes, my name is Poe. That forest of death gives me the creeps. Sometimes I just have to get out of there. Anyway, the senile old dragon back there, Matanda, got really huffy, waving his big tail around just because... I played with the crystal ball a little bit. He damaged my prized feathers, but thanks to you, I have been saved. Hey, I know. I'll give you this ocarina, which I picked up in the forest. If you ever need me, just call me with this ocarina. Okay. So that happened. It's apparently a magic ocarina. Oh, Snack Man, I can't quit you. Ow! Oh, I probably should, though. I should probably learn how really quickly. That was optional, but you don't want to miss it. Okay. So I guess we really go are going for the uh, eight-hour playthrough then, huh? <laughs> South. South. Oh, 
Oh, hello. You're back again, you thief. Cough, cough. I will never give you the crystal ball of life. Cough, cough. Although I can't fight. In fact, I can't even fly. I'll give you a bracelet that a thief left here. If you let me be. Cough, cough. What's up, Echo Far? Good to see you. You've obtained the thieves' bracelet. Are you going to leave me alone? What a kind-hearted young man. Okay, bye. So... Don't you recognize that iconic scene where Willow is a sword and shield and fights things? Where he talks to a giant senile dragon? Alright, uh, are we done here? I just remember the scary dragon coming out of the water. Forgive you an ocarina out of a cave or not? Let's find out. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, everybody remembers the pig scene. Everybody. Oh, great. Pose a jerk then? I mean, come on, low overhead. That's gotta be a problem for him. Jesus, okay. Go ahead and top off. Ah, okay. I have discovered their secret. There we go. Real March of the Pigs. <laughs> Let's see if I have any idea how to get out of here. What? Ow! Ow! Yeah. Fall asleep in your chair again? Great. Well, I mean, let's be real. This isn't exactly the most action-packed game I've streamed. Does it throw anyone else off how the MP is over the HP? Yes. Yes, that can that confused me greatly when we started. That dev- Oh, fuck. That definitely threw me off. Must be a comfy chair. Man, I really hope my next level is soon. Because he didn't sleep well. Yeah. I know it's not because of my commentary, because, I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, what? Is that like a shortcut out of here? I can't do anything right now. You're playing King's Quest. Lady, I guess I'll just stand on your collarbone here. Welcome to beautiful Lake Chief. I am the protector of this lake, the fairy Sherlindria. Take this cane with you. It's a legendary magic cane. Only those who are pure in heart may use it during this coming adventure. You must put your all into using this cane to its utmost. When this cane reaches its true potential, it will be the beginning of the end for all wicked beings. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> this is terrible writing. It's... I guess it's Capcom. I guess it's... I guess it's translated Capcom writing, huh? 
Now, Willow, go north. Finn Raziel, the messenger of Earth, is waiting for you. Willow, you are the only one who can save her. She was turned into an opossum by the evil magic of Queen Bavmorda. This is a Capcom game, yes. Licensed from LucasArts. Go, go north. You can kind of hear it in some of the music. A little, yeah. But it certainly doesn't look like any of their other games. What the shit are these? Oh god, what are they doing? Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's go ahead and heal up. Ow! Man, I don't like these things. Haha, <laughs> okay, bye. See ya! Alright, now, now we have Dragon Quest Ghosts. That's exciting. Snack! Is the wind blows when enemies appear? Maybe? I guess? Maybe? Yeah, we, it was making some people nauseous. Alright, I found the devil's eyeball in a chest. I guess I shouldn't have just healed up, but whatever. Yeah, this is a pretty intense game visually. Oh my god, this is Mad Mardigan? Yeah, my name is Mad Mardigan. I'm a warrior of the Daikini clan. Please release me. There is a key to the handcuffs hidden in the forest. Please go find it. Okay. Little, little different from the movie, but oh, for God's sake. Skeletons are so annoying. That looks just like Val Kilmer. Just like, just like how the Rambo game looked just like John Rambo. Shit was uncanny. Serious? Do we... Oh my god. You are such pieces of shit. Did you know that? Oh, I leveled up. Thank you, God. Alright. We're level six. Now we can die all we want. It doesn't matter. It's like everybody look like the actors in Robin Hood Prince of Thieves game. Oh, we're gonna play that one, too. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting- I think I just walked my ass right out of- Yup. What's up, Blue Seed? This is indeed Willow. This is Willow on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't think he called Willow a peck even once or whatever it was. Yep, it was peck. I considered I considered making the 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 title of tonight's stream just peck 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 after that one uh, after that one scene, but I figured if there are any actual pecks in the audience, they might be offended by that. Do we get to quote Robin Hood Men in Tights as we play? I will be disappointed if you don't. Strongly encouraged. I, no, you know what? I don't. I don't. Uh, just get out of my way. Go north from Val Kilmer. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, there's one dead. God. How about fuck off? Like other streamers, I can speak with a British accent. What? This seems ill-advised. Wait, I can block those. Wow, that guy was a chump. A giant purple chump. A snack boy. Oh, I can block these now. Okay, that's great. Welcome to having a decent shield. You need torment souls? I think I can do without torment, thanks. Uh, hi lady. 
Welcome, this is an oasis for all brave adventurers. This is the tavern of the traveler. Please relax and take it easy. Yes, I think I will. Oh God, he's terrifying blocks. Never mind. <laughs> Hello. There are two red towers standing side by side on the other side of the lake. Bavmorda has closed the road that leads to the towers, so no one can go near them. There must be some kind of secret there. I'm sure Bavmorda is afraid of it. Now you should ocarina? Okay. I'm just kind of curious what's, what all is... Oh my god, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It's a crab! Oh god. Oh god, something in the water is launching crabs at me. Oh god, oh god. This is unsalvageable. Fuck. That was, that was one crab battle I was going to lose hard. Very hard. <laughs> Back to the inn. From which we will never leave, ever again. I wish we could speed through the dialogue. I hope there's no ocean level with how much it gyrates. Alright. Ah, Karina. That's 20 MP. And then Poe comes and grabs us. Oh, Willow, I'll take you anywhere you need to go. Oh. Let's go back to Dew, actually. I want to give that guy the dragon scale. As, as a writing exercise once at work, I, uh, I had, we, we pulled random prompts and I had to write a story about Aquaman uh, and his unhealthy addiction to Mountain Dew. Came out really good. Oh, this is really a dragon scale. I will make you a magnificent sword and shield. Out of one dragon scale. You have the dragon sword. Neat. You have the dragon shield. Neat. I bet he hates himself because he thinks it's actually do from mountain. He resents having to drink a land-based drink, but he can't stop. I like that angle. I like that. Wait, Devil Eye is a sword. Something seems off about that. Like, literally twice as strong as my new dragon sword. Yeah. That, j that just screams cursed. Also, why did I unequip my sword? Okay. Nothing bad will happen if you equip it. But... I'm sure there's a but here somewhere. Ugh. Eh. 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 Alright, I'm guessing we should go back to Val Kilmer. The butt is that you can't hit anything. Oh, okay. Anti-ghost and zombie weapon. Okay, that's actually really good. That's nice. I like that. Um.
I guess we're gonna go back to the bar and then search the area around Val Kilmer. Like a little kicky feet while we're flying. <coughs> Goodbye, Snack Man. Goodbye, Suggy Purple Guy. All right, let's try this way. Oh, God. Stupid Skelly Man's. Stupid bug mans. Stupid skelly mans. Hey, I found treasure. You have the key! Hey, handy. That fanfare, da -na 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 -na, sounds like a, a Capcom tune to me. It's really old and quite rusty. Willow, the game about running around calling everything stupid as you leave the screen. <laughs> the ring, ocarina, and dragon scales should be the only optional items. Oh, okay. Whoa, fucker. Ow. Poor music. Nice. This is Lost Woods. So the only time the backgrounds move when there are enemies that related to the story is that technical thing. I think it's a design choice. I'm under the impression it's a design choice. Oh, fantastic, I'm in your debt. Here, take my necklace. Just my way of saying thanks. Uh, I got a necklace. It's made of poor quality glass. The name's Mad Mardigan. Remember it. So long. Hmm, okay. Boy, imagine what kind of fun and kooky adventures we could have if we teamed up. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh my god! Wait, why am I doing this? A magical ocarina that will take me where I want to go. <coughs> so do we want to go north along the coast now? If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Willow is supposed to be carrying around a baby this entire time. Face your crabby foe. Hmm. Please take it easy before your fateful battle. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you planning on going to the cave over there? According to rumor, there is a ghost that protects a treasure and kills anyone that goes near it. It is said that her lover went on a dangerous journey to find the treasure for her and then mysteriously disappeared the night he returned. Oh, so she guards it forever waiting for his return. Is, is that Mad Mardigan? What a tragic story. Hey Willow, thanks for helping me out of that jam. There I was, minding my own business when all of a sudden, Sorsha came charging up and took me prisoner. Anyway, thanks. You know, you can't go any further without crossing the lake. About the only way you can do that is if you have a waka seed in your mouth so you can breathe water, ha. Huh? Of course, the only ones 
who have waka seeds are the mythical creatures of the Nail Clan. Supposed to be white, small, sort of like a rabbit, with antlers. I've never seen one, probably just a legend. Cool. Bye. You take a baby into a bar? I mean, it's... It's fantasy land, sure. Babies probably go straight from breast milk to beer. Alright. Not fucking with these crabs. Ah! No, oh, oh, we did Okay, that's not happening. Okay, so I go. Ah. Okay. I think I have to go back to. I'm guessing I have to go back around. Find Whitey. Whitey was way back around Poe's house, if I remember correctly. I would need to backtrack from the house and go across the bridge? Nah. Nah. Too far back. So should I go to the bar or Poe's house? Bar, okay. I think I might know where to go then. Maybe, maybe east of where I rescued Mad Mardigan? I go rest in here again, top off my MP. I am so tired of this spiel. Oh god, if they, get, if, if they give me the dialogue between the dude and Mad Mardigan again. Oh no. the extra large piece with extra plot. Nobody! Fucking nobody. Do you need to hear all that again? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go find the jackalope and never go back to the bar ever again, ever. Got it. Some chatty motherfuckers. Do not shut the fuck. Wait, 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 wait! Not this way. Not this way. Not this way. Actually, maybe not this way either. Okay, maybe that way.
What is your XP for your next level? I'm guessing like a billion. Ow. That was weird. 6,230. Jesus. Hey, hi. Uh, so we meet again, Willow. Seed of Waka, I have it right here. You have obtained the Seed of Waka. Yay. Take care. All right, bye. Not going inside. That plot dump experience has turned me into a Tita Taylor now. I think if I hadn't healed right then, I would have died. All right. Okay. Remember the part in Willow where he goes walking underneath the lake? Yeah, me neither. Hey, look, a cave. Hey, it's Finraziel. And Messenger Earth, Finraziel, you must be Willow. I'm glad you made it all this way. Now please, change me to my normal self with Sher Sherlindria's magic cane. Willow clutched the cane tightly and said the magic words. Oh no, Willow, you don't have enough experience to change me back yet. This actually happens in the movie. Okay, bye. <laughs> We kept, yeah, we kept the Willow fucks up the magic bit. That's nice. All right. Uh. I was worried this was gonna turn into like a... Am I actually hurting this guy? I am, okay, cool. It means I literally need to be level 13 to succeed. Level 13? You probably need like 600,000 experience for that. I'm not excited. Zampe! No, you piece of shit. I couldn't even reach you over there. God, you suck. Why do you suck so hard? Waka's... Now, if you're wondering why I'm not leaving the screen, it's because you can't. You cannot leave the screen while you are a pig. I'm... No, you fuck. Okay. Whatever. This guy's really going to ham on you. Christ. Ugh. Yeah, that's not an interesting fight. That just sucks. What do we get for all our troubles? You have the magic of fleet! Before Twitter canceled them. 
The slate says that there is a way to get out of the confusing cave. Cool. Ow. He's summoning an army now. Is this cave a big spiral? It seems to be. Wings over Baron starts playing. Ah, huh, okay. <clears throat> Bleat a person or something? Um... Twitter briefly introduced a thing called fleets. Oh my god. These crabs are the absolute goddamn worst. They were like... I, I don't even remember what fleets were. Like, clusters of tweets or something? Like... I seriously don't even remember. Snack bands! Hug the wall to the right. Oh, there are tweets that disappeared after 24 hours. Okay. So I don't want to go through this cave. I don't want to go here. I want to keep going. I have no memory of that. They were very brief. The whole initiative practically lasted 20... Oh, you do one in there? Okay. The whole initiative practically lasted 24 hours itself. Oh my god, is this a cave maze? Wait, no. Oh god. Go back, I think. Okay. Don't worry if you screw this up. Ah! I take it back. Fuck you, Silver Mike. Stupid thing you have to do to be able to kill a boss in here. Yep, that that's an NES game, alright. <laughs> no! No, this is karma! No! No, I don't want it! Fuck! That bridge go, man. That bridge is rocking out. I am Xena, the spirit that roams around looking for her love. Please help me. My love must be nearby, but he won't show himself to me. Please find him for me. I have Xena's cross flute, warrior princess. Um, is he back in the caves? Or can I go this way? Keep going for a new shield. Okay. Rise your dragon shield is obsolete this damn fast. I mean, there's like. Oh, shit. I mean, there's what? 12 shields and 12 swords in this game? If if those status screens are gonna be filled up? They gotta, they gotta churn them pretty fast. Translucent purple and very beautiful. 
How is a metal shield translucent purple? That's a big jump in defense, too. All right, neat. Go south to get a new spell. Double neat. My leg fell asleep <laughs> while I was playing this. Now it's all pins and needlies. The Book of Magic. The book talks about the magic word renew, but I don't know what kind of magic it is. That's fleet. What does it do? Does this depig me? In the junction, go east, east, north. Okay. We may have gotten a depigging spell. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal. You got the spell? Kosher! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, east. Oh, for Christ's sake. Lol, idiot. Boy, this is a great cave. I love this cave. The Demon's Feather. Get a brain, skeletons. It is said that if you wave this feather, you invoke the magic of Turstorm, which creates a gust of wind. Okay, cool. Cool and neat and good. Anything else in this cave besides bees and idiot skeletons? Holy fuck, this place just keeps going. Am I on the wrong? I'm on the wrong sword. No. Renew solid against shielded skeletons? Hmm, okay. Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? No! Now he doesn't show up. God, this whole cave is just a giant... Go back... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Alright, we're going back. I, I bet I know where you want me to go. Looking at the shape of these rooms. Fuck off, idiot. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Should've known. <clears throat> Can I kill these crabs? Can I please kill these crabs? Oh! Oh! No, I can die. Death is what I can do. Oh boy. That's gonna be a ways back. <clears throat> All right. So it seems you keep all your shit. That's good. Boss isn't too deep inside the dungeon. Yeah, we're just gonna have to work back out how to get there. I was about to say. If Silver Mike wasn't looking at a guide, well, first of all, I was gonna call bullshit. And then, and then if they really insisted that they weren't looking at a guide, I was going to be terrified and intimidated at their in-depth knowledge of Willow. 
I mean, I, I remember a lot of random shit about the games I played in my life, but nothing like this. Uh, this was... Oh, that was, that was Finn Raziel. That's right. I thought maybe a Willow speedrunner. Okay, these crabs are seriously like the worst thing in the game. They're worth a hundred experience. These crabs mega suck, but they're worth a hundred experience. Where's the pig zombies? It just occurred to me how much experience... Hello, hi. Oh! I'm Sorsha, daughter of the great queen Bavmorda. Have you seen a man by the name of Mad Mardigan around here? He was a suspicious man, so we caught him. But he got away somehow. Okay, bye. Good thing Big Copter isn't here to you, hear you should talk about uh, talk shit about crabs. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just fight the crabs for a bit. They do so much damage is the problem. Like, if I was better at fighting them, this would probably be a pretty solid plan. Pig zombies are worse because you can, like, walk away from the crabs. For real. Ow! You fucking dick. You see where he renewed us to them? Yeah, let's find out where, what renewed us to them. See a man named Matt Morgan, he kind of looks like Iceman from Top Gun. Uh, fuck all, it would seem. Ow. Alright, I think I'm gonna go... I'm, I'm doing this because I, I know we just lost a ton of experience. I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the area around the bar. Because there's a screen with three crabs on it. If I do that, if I do this screen just a couple times, I should be able to level up. Downside is I'm going to have to go back to the bar several times. <clears throat> How did he? Okay, sure, why not? What, like a thousand points away from the next level? Something like that? Sixty-two thirty? Yeah, I can definitely do that. 
What's I'm I'm not gonna grind up another level after that, but what's the how much is the next level after? I'm morbidly curious. Nine thousand one hundred sixteen. Oh, I, I like the magic fail sound. And then twelve thousand five hundred eighty. Okay. Twelve thousand five hundred eighty. The magical womp womp. Woo! Okay. Got it. Alright, let's go back and... <coughs> Unfortunately, sit through all that bullshit at the... At the bar again. After that, it ramps up more. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully just being level 7 will pave over some of this stuff. Oh, thank God those assholes left. Okay, I feel so much better now. <coughs> yeah, they... Man, they really messed up that bar. Something fierce. Ow. God damn it, I don't mean to keep walking into these crabs like this. Cave. More carbs. Ow! I thought my shield would save you from that. Yeah. Damn it. Ah! What the fuck, man? For some reason, my mind went back to the George Harrison song we, when we was fab and remade to when we was crabs. Fuck off. Okay, so those are also ghosty things. Oh, thank God. Suck. Go through the spiral when you get to the next set of caves and keep going north. Okay. And of course, now he doesn't show up. I already checked that chest. They don't go away after you take the items out of them. Game makes it way too easy to run into the boss here before you can kill it. Wow, this game really is like Crystallis. That's funny. Look like Clippy on a bender. I couldn't believe Crystallis would actually lock you into a battle with a boss when you can't even damage it. It's a little meaner than Crystallis in that respect. Ah! God damn it, crabs! <laughs> 
Oh, it keeps heal. Oh, so it'll actually... It'll actually let you fight the boss, but the boss will keep healing from critical. Yeah, that's super assholey. Aw, you're stuck. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? I'm actually kind of worried about how I'm going to fare against this boss, because I keep fighting crabs and getting my ass kicked. <sighs> Alright, when you get to the next set of caves, keep going north. Okay. Good old snack man. Good old snack man, I'm too dumb to fight now. Well, that was definitely a boss. One of the hardest boss in video games. Hey, they gave me a free level. The hard shell of the demon split in two and a man appeared from inside. However, he was already half dead. Is he narrating his own demise? Right at that moment, Xena's cross flute began to play. Oh God, the flute that the ghost gave me is haunted. Muzz, it's me, it's Xena. Xena, we finally meet. Xena, I was turned into an ugly monster by the wicked magic of Babmorda and was ordered to guard this door the rest of my life. I couldn't go home because I could not let you see my ugly state. But now we can be together. Yes, forever and ever. The two came together and disappeared. Muzz had left a note behind. <clears throat> Looks pretty handsome to me. This happened in the mo No! Absolutely not. This has literally nothing to do with the movie at all. I thought this time would come, so I wrote this note to leave behind. Babmorda is afraid of the power of the spirits, and she fears just people like you. You must have both of these strengths to defeat her. I'm sure that the spirits will help you if they can. I will write down the magic word of Bombard here. I am sure there will be a time when it is needed. You have the magic of Bombard. Thank you, Echo Far. I've been I've really been practicing my delivery as of late. <clears throat> Bombard, baby! All right, let's see here. All right, we're somewhere else now. Oh, this has gone pure Shatner. Never go pure Shatner. No returning from that. <clears throat> Baby! The predictions are really true. I believe that you would come. Alora Danon is the sacred future queen of Finn Raziel's prophecy. Willow, you must now, as Finn Raziel has predicted, call down the spirit of Earth to this sacred tower when the strength of the two spirits comes together. That is when change will truly begin. Now the two spirits are waiting for you on top of the tower. Okay. Star Trek Shatner, Tech War Shatner, Twitter Shatner. 
Oh god. Esperanto Shatner. Okay, well I guess we're not going this way. So that little girl, the, the baby, Alora Danan, is the baby, she's like the one baby. The one baby to rule them all. Alright, this is different. Bees! Or no, bugs! Bugs like the bees, but okay. Oh, that's cool! You can actually see the, the lower floor below you. This isn't suspicious at all. Bugs be. Okay, now we have the bees. Fuck you, B. Stabo. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. The way the way they present the climbing in this tower is pretty cool. I'm a little concerned about how tall how tall this tower might be. And how how tedious this might get. Skullamans. Oh, it only shows the two floors below. Okay. Oh god, there's no telling how tall this place could be. <laughs> Some real Dark Soulsy combat with the skeletons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I, I found the, seat, the sweet spot where that guy would just suicide against my sword. Towers aren't excessively tall. As someone who has only ever played Dark Souls in my entire life, this game's giving me a lot of Dark Souls vibes. I think I'm gonna write an article online about how similar this game is to Dark Souls. And how it clearly took drew inspiration from Dark Souls despite being made, like, what, 20 years before? Greetings, Willow. I am the spirit of the skies. I have borrowed this being's body to talk to you for a short while. I hope you obtain consent first. Bavmorda, who I placed in this world... I'm sorry, this is your fault? ...has made my voice inaudible and she is trying to conquer the world. Now I will put my strength into this blue crystal, take this, and go climb the West Tower. Okay, I got crystal. I am borrowing this old man. I will not- I will not be accepting questions at this time. <laughs> Breaking Bad! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wonder if the ocarina would work from the top floor, but I I don't know if uh, the place where I saw a, saw a Lord Danan counts as a place that Poe can take you, and if it doesn't, I would have to go all the way back to the bar. So yeah, we're hoofing it. I do like the presentation of these, at least. <laughs> According to one account, she was in fact the incarnation of the messenger of the sky sent by the spirit of the skies to bring peace to the world. Problem being, that account was this game. 
Yeah, I get the feeling they just made up a bunch of shit out of whole cloth for this game. Because very, 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 very little of what you do in this game actually tracks with the moving. Okami was last night. I mean, to, like, in, in my mind, this is kind of like... This is kind of like the adventure equivalent of Sunsoft Batman. Like, yeah, you have the main character and the main bad guy and some locations and people from the movie, but it's mostly just a big bunch of whatever. Thank you. Oh, now we climb the green tower. We're done, we're done with that stupid yellow tower. Now it's all about the green tower, which I guess they're gonna have enemies every floor now. Or every screen. Yep. We are now, we are now climbing the Tower of Bees. Like, how, <laughs> how do you open the gate? Just mash your face on it. Yep. You rub on it until it goes away. Bees and ghosts. And Skellymans. Can't forget the stupid Skellymans. They're entirely too effective a roadblock. Bees! No bees. Rub up against it till it goes away is also how to get rid of people you don't like. Okay. Don't want. Still don't want. Flashing light warning, I guess. You guys are obnoxious. Black bee? Not impressed. So I guess enemies just have, have have a random chance to just not spawn. Okay, th this guy seems pretty determined to spawn. Alright, fine. I will stab you. No 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 Sorry, I kind of mashed everything once there because I was panicking. Okay, well this is great. Very exciting. Woo, okay. Those two thumbs is pretty to spawn. This guy. Oh, come on! What are those supposed to be? I, like, I'm wondering if they're supposed to be, like, sentient slime bubbles? Extremely transparent ghosts? Oh my god. Here from Evangelion. They actually drop things, which is nice. God. You get experience for each one, even after they divide. 
I'm glad you came, Willow. I am the spirit of the earth. I am borrowing this being's body, but this guy can't get a break. Bavmorda has confined the strength of Vinraziel, whom I placed on this world. Now I will put my strength into this red crystal. Take this and go down and meet Alora Danan. Okay. Borrowing the same guy must be the cheapest rental. How hard must he have hustled down that first uh, tower and up the second to beat me here? He jumped. Oh god! He's he's actually dead. He's just piloting around a corpse now. I'll do the possession fetish. Alright, I've got an idea actually. Uh, Death's Elixir, thank you for the follow. Oh my god! Okay! Alright. So if they- if- if six of them spawn, it's- it reaches critical mass and they're like, okay, we're done here. Yeah, I'm gonna farm these guys real quick up to level nine. Because I think we're close. Yeah, they did not like that idea. They're like six six is six is too much. They're worth ninety experience each and they're really easy to kill. There we go, okay. Do, 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 do. There goes, so you get 10, 10 MP back for- oh, yeah, that's nice. That's also nice. In fact, I can probably top off my new health total, which is 168. They gank 10 MP, whatever they- Oh, is that why the screen flashes? Oh, you're right! Yeah, I hadn't even noticed that. So when they split, the right one has the same amount of health as the original. Interesting. These guys are actually pretty good for leveling. Wow, unless I just completely fuck it up like that. Dudes. There we are. They start with two. No, I actually want to fight those. All right, fine. Fuck you too. This green tower might be a bit excessive. This one was definitely more floors than the last one. This is it, right? 
So then we're free, then we're out of here. We're done. Oh, bees! Nah, dude. Not happening. Who thought Willow needed murder hornets? Okay. Baby! The two lights that rule the skies and earth come together and are reborn into this world through your diligence. As Lord Danan, she will overthrow all of the evil entities and turn their existence into nothing. Turn their existence into nothing. You obtain the Crest of the Spirits. Neat. This crest is priceless and will protect the whole world. If this ever gets in the hands of Babmorda and is destroyed, the power of the spirits will disappear and Babmorda will be able to live forever. Will you hurry and find Babmorda's castle, Nakmar? And with the strength of this crest, abolish the evil magic. Okay, bye. Are you finished this game? We will owe you an explanation. We'll overthrow the evil entities and turn their existence into nothing. Yes. Behold the power of Google Translate. Alright. So... We did the thing. So... Thinking. I guess we go back to where we saw Bavmorda's daughter. Which means we would ocarina eight back to the bar and then cross the lake again. Yeah, this is still the only place I can go. I like Willow's little kiki feet while he's flying. Alright. Let me rest and don't talk to me. Alright. Ah, okay. Level level nine is enough to swing the sword normally. So four more levels, and I can turn Finraziel back into her human form. Grab still assholes. News at eleven. It occurs to me there's no money in this game, so you just stay everywhere free. Yes, yeah. I think Nintendo Power mentioned that as well. There's no currency in this game. You just meet people to get items. That's pretty much it. And then everybody lets you, like, sleep on their couch or whatever. Arbs. Mm. Arb, damn you. No, fucker. Shit. He'll mace me. Crabby bastards. Spray yourself with heal mace. Just, ah, God. It burns, but it burns so good. Somehow those are less annoying than the, than the Zelda rocks. I take it back, they suck ass. I hate them. So yeah, if you find the sweet spot with those guys, they just keep charging over and over again. But they don't charge far enough to hit you. So you just whack them. I like those guys. Big fan. Ugh, vlogs. 
Why does that be bugs? These particular skulls are worth 30 apiece. Not bad. There we go. You were falling cabbages. Enough of this shit! Fuck you and your bees. And there's nothing. Okay, great. Bees again. <laughs> the bees were worth quite a bit, weren't they? How much were they worth specifically? Okay, I just yoked that guy out of existence. Okay, 1570. What the fuck, man? Oh, they're worth like 50. So it's like 150 per screen. For clearing those dudes out. This is technically the same. I wonder how much farther it is to the next level. I kind of want to just go ahead and get it. Pause and find out. Does it actually tell you? Oh! 17. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. That won't take too long. So we don't fuck up against the bees. These cause a great deal of pain. Great deal of pain. Skull combat's pretty foolproof. Cool Maybe I should just skip the bees and do the skulls. <laughs> These are some dumbass skulls. Feels like you'd finish this with one more night. What would y'all prefer? Like this this Saturday, do you do y'all want to see the rest of Willow or are are you good and you wanna head back to power hours? Maybe went overtime, but no, nah, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm I'm not up to going late tonight. Directions to a shack. How long so this is about five and a half hours to finish without extras? I don't know what extras are talking about though. Like according to Silver Mike, we've already done like the optional stuff. I mean there might not be. How long to beat is notoriously unreliable. Maybe they'd be maxing level. This is it another of those games where we're gonna do with some new IP, then they got the rights to Willow and just revamped it to almost sort of not fit? I have no idea what the story is behind this game. Don't ask me, I just look at websites on the internet. 
Wow, I actually aced the bug. Yeah, three optional items aren't three hours of content. Especially since we already got them. My new sword fighting technique is unstoppable. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's a face! Man, this world is fucked. Just let Bavimore to have it. There's so many dead ends in this. <laughs> Oh no! Deadly rock slide. This is quite a hike. This is an Iron Sword elemental. <laughs> this is not doofy enough to be from Iron Sword. Blind faces make me think this is where Rusty Lake does got the idea for the flyified brother in, par in uh, Paradise. That's a thought. Yeah, that would track. You going east? Okay. This works too. <laughs> Lol. Nakmar Castle, huh? I've never heard of it. I can teach you the strongest magic word in the world. You have the magic word of thunder. Message ch chest while back, not sure what's in it. Eh. Please stay and make yourself at home. Great. Lovely. Alright. I can give you strongest magic. I've... you have a heal ball. I found a ball of heal. Three in the air, I think one of them is mandatory. A magic ball that returns your strength. Okay. And this is different from the... I can't get past this chest. This chest is actually blocking the road. So many the ah! What a shit ass place for a black bee to spawn. Jesus. Ah! Oh, I hate these. I don't even know what the fuck they are, but I hate them. All right, this is a dead end. Right. The way those enemies rush you is just terrifying. I hate it. They're all the worst parts of Ewoks and Gremlins. 
Those you actually recognize in the movie? I I had forgotten about them. Ow, rock to the face. Ow, face to the face. Ow, see previous. Chest! You have the tail shield. A shield that is made from the tail of a demon. Weird. Defense 69. Pretty nice. It was the missed chest you need? Ah, okay. Alright, let's go back. I forget if they were called goblins, I remember them, uh, particularly because you could see them crawling on walls or the bottom of the bridge trying to- Oh, I remember now! I remember them crawling along the bottom of the bridge, the underside of the bridge. Yeah, it was super creepy. Yeah, it was super messed up. Oh my god, I just went around a loop. Oh god, okay. Can I, hang, hang, hang on a second. Can I, can I just ocarina back to that one shack? I hope so. Wait, no, I didn't, no, I said no. Oh my God, no. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So that shack in the mountains is not one that Poe can take you to. I think we're gonna end early tonight. <laughs> I think I think I've had all the willow I can take for one night. I mean, I'm pretty tired anyway. I think I could I could use using an early sleep tonight anyway. But woof, woof. All right, we're also going to discuss in Discord if we actually want another night of this or not. Does they have a save feature or not? Um. I think if you die, you get a password? I think? I didn't know. I don't want to go anywhere, you idiot. <clears throat> I have a...
Go hug some crabs, okay. Twenty damage per, Jesus. Game over. Thank you, Manic. I appreciate that. Very password. Okay. Of oh, smartphones, you can just take pictures of this shit. Done. We're good. That'll do. Yeah. Boop. All right, gang. Well, that was Willow. <laughs> A very interesting experience. Um. Yes. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think I have Lodrahai to thank for this one. I think. I think it was she who uh, inflicted this one upon me in the best possible way. Um, we will talk in Discord tomorrow about whether or not we want to do another Night of Willow. Um, I could go either way, I guess. I have no particular need to finish it, though I am curious where it goes from here, so. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I just, yeah. I really like this. I, I, I genuinely really like this. It's nice to see Amy greet me every time I minimize everything on the screen. Um, but tomorrow night, tomorrow night is going to be our second ever Night of the Wheel. And this time we are looking for stuff that is genuinely entertaining, either because it is good or because it's unique or because it is especially bad in entertaining ways. So I'm going to take, let's see here. Let's see what we've actually got here. It's been a hot minute. Um, well, first of all, let me turn these off. Boop, they're gone. Um, we have 10. We have 10 submissions. Uh, and yeah, I've looked through most of these and they look pretty interesting. So I think we've got a really good cross section. Tomorrow night, at the beginning of tomorrow night's stream, uh, we'll go over all 10 of them. You'll see what, what it is that we'll be working with. Um, we'll spin the wheel thrice, we'll pick three games, we'll play 30 to 40 minutes of each of them, we'll decide communally through discussion uh, and compromise which one is the best out of them, and then <coughs> whoever submitted that particular game is going to get a VIP badge for the channel. Unless a moderator wins, because I can't give them VIP badges, uh, in which case I'll just randomly gift a sub out. Miss Echo's comment I thought I was blamed for Willow. No. God. No, I actually have a list of people we can blame for Willow. Um Yes. Yes, I have I have three people we can blame for Willow. <laughs> no, Willow's Willow's another one of those games. I don't I don't regret trying it all uh at all. Uh I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against uh <laughs> Thank you, Library Man. Thank you. I wouldn't be against finishing it either, but we'll discuss in Discord what we want to do on Saturday. If we want, if we want to give up another night to Willow, or if we want, just want to do power hours. So, but that is a discussion for another day, like tomorrow. But for now, let me find somebody for y'all to raid. How about, how about, how about, how about? Um... <coughs> How about, man, it's been, it's been a hot minute since I last raided Actually Mani, and she's playing Slime Rancher. I think she's, I'm pretty sure she's played it before, or I might be thinking of somebody else, but either way, that's a good, 
as a nice good game to chill out with. My pleasure, Captain Tio. Always, always a good time to go back and rediscover NES games. One of my favorite things to do right now. It's a big reason why we spend so much time going through old Nintendo Power volumes, because they have so many games from that system featured uh, in various ways and of various qualities. And sometimes it hurts and sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, it was worth trying. Nothing like you expected. We did see Alora. Yeah, she was cute. Quite cute. All right, gang. Thanks again for coming out and joining me. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow night for the Wheel Part 2, Evolution of Wheel. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.